Hey guys, this video talks about upgrading your Dell laptop, your, your uh, Inspiron or XPS later generation model to a uh, solid state drive. Now this is one that you can't break uh, by dropping the laptop. Um, you, you can't do that with a regular regular hard drive. It probably it might be broken by now. This is all solid state. I mean, it's pretty much indestructible. Um, so it is a process on this model. First step, remove battery, set aside. Second step, remove memory cover. We're doing this because we want to remove the CD drive first. If the screw doesn't come out, flip it over. CD drive out. Now we need to locate a screw right here. Remove that. That's actually going to hold our keyboard down, I believe. Take that one out of there. You'll notice that um, we have four screws. One, let's see, one, two, three, four. These are what actually hold the hard drive in. We're going to hang tight on those for now. Meanwhile, going to remove a couple more screws. bottom here. Now flip it back over. This is kind of the tricky part here. Um, you have the keyboard. Now you need to, there's little clips. They're located right here, right here, right here, and right here. Now these hold it down. Um, basically you just push in a little piece and it removes it. I've already actually removed this. Um, so it's ready to go. You can take a card slide it across just to make sure they're all out. Once it's loose, and you slide it forward, flip it out. Now in order to get this keyboard out, there's a connection right here. Zoom in so you can see that. Um, basically just flip that, flip that up, just like that. Boom, keyboard's out. Done deal. There's that, so. Next step is to remove these screws in here on your palm rest assembly. Make sure you get them all. There's quite a few of them. That is five total so far. So I believe I got them all. Um, you'll notice there's a clip right here. The same way you remove that, um, the, uh, the keyboard, um, that flips up like that. Same one for this one, flips up like that. Little blue pull tabs to remove them. Just pull on those. Pull that out, pull that out. They're loose. Now, oh, we uh, actually forgot one over here. Um, notice here we have one here for something else, probably for the touchpad or something. Pull that one out. Once we have those out, this should be mostly loose unless I missed a screw. So there's actually a few more down here I guess I forgot about. Underneath um, underneath these little pieces here, these little rubber deals, um, you need to pop these out. Use a small screwdriver to do so. There are four of them up front. I'd recommend doing two at a time, flipping it over, and removing two more, flipping it over, because you don't want to lose these screws. So there we go. So 
So now we have that out. We have those screws out. Let's see if it'll see if we can pop it up yet. It's held on by clips. I just put my fingernail in here. You can probably use a small screwdriver. Be careful not to damage the surface of this thing. You don't want screw looking gouges on it. So looks like it's held in over here. We forgot a screw. You'll notice pretty quick, you'll probably run into this sort of thing. Take that screw out. Done. Let's try again. Hey, came right out. Look at that. Done. So here we are. The uh, Palmeris is out. You'll notice the hard drive is located right here. Now, remember I mentioned earlier we have those four screws we still need to remove. Let's do that now. Guess you could have done in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. Flip it over, try not to lose the screws like I almost just did there. Set those aside. Now the hard drive is loose. Flip it back over. And you want to slide this way. Actually, I guess you got to lift it up first. There we go. Just like that. So, hard drive. This is your traditional hard drive. This is a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM. Put your SSD in there. Just slide it in. It's in. Now, the uh, reassembly is reverse of uh, removal. So, have fun putting all that back together. Um, try not to break anything, but it's the exact same. Just play the video backwards or something you should be able to put it back together but that's how to do it I'll have a video soon showing the performance increase of this thing I'm actually not going to use this solid-state drive I'll be using a 256 gigabyte uh, solid-state drive from Crucial the, the C300 so we'll see what kind of performance we can get out of this uh, this laptop um, that's all for now guys uh, I don't want to make this too long so I'm not going to put it all back together right now but um, it's fairly straightforward, just follow it backwards and have a good day. See ya.